because it seems like these days these guys are straight out telling these women I don't want something serious and women are still head first into this mess <sighs> yes I cannot stress enough listen to what these men are saying if you meet a guy and he says hey I'm just cooling it right now I'm not looking for anything serious you know, we can be friends, you know, whoop, whoop, all that stuff. Listen to what he's saying. Hi, welcome back to my comfy couch. Say so hi. <laughs> As you guys know, Charlie. So in the last time we had a live session, you made a comment. You said it was something to the effect of, a hundred men will smash, but only one or two will actually marry you, right? Yep, I did. So I wanted us to talk more about that because I felt that even me myself, when I was in the you know in the dating field, you felt like you had all these guys coming at you and the type of guys you had. So you thought, okay, these were all viable options. Right. So tell me more about what you meant by that comment. Um, what I mean by that pretty much is um, like you were saying, just like kind of feel like. You had unlimited options, and I think a lot of women feel that way today, that you have unlimited options. Um, with, you know, guys always sliding the DMs, somebody may approach you at a store or something like that. So women tend to think that you just have these unlimited options of men that's going to throw themselves at their feet when, you know, nine times out of ten, that's not really the case. You know, a lot of these dudes are not taking these ladies seriously these days. And it's just a, you know, quick smash effort. And it's not that I felt like I had unlimited options, but I felt like, you know, if you go online, there's different guys that'll come talk to you and in person and all that. So it's like you feel like the kind of guys or the caliber of guys that you're dealing with that you can actually, you know, get married and these people are like legit interested because I know of some single women who don't get hit on like all the time, but the ones they do get hit on, they're not really too interested in. But it seems like there's a lot of men not taking women seriously. To me, if I had to say the number one kind of complaint, if you will, that I'll hear from women is these guys aren't really serious. Um, so I wanted to talk about like, how can a woman know like if she is dating online or she is introduced a guy introduces herself, how does she know that this guy really is like into her like for real? Um, definitely consistency. Oh! Say, um, level and degree of conversation. Um, what is he talking about? You know, how does he emote his feelings or um, things that, that, things like that. Um, also like, how, how eager is he to meet you? Like, is he just a pen pal? Oh, yeah. oh, like in person? Yeah, I feel like if a man is really serious and he's taking you serious, he's gonna want to meet you. Hey, I'm going out to dinner tomorrow night. Would you like to meet me? Or hey, I I'm off in the next couple of days. What's your schedule looking like? Let's go out to dinner or let's go see a movie or hey, let's go out and grab a coffee or something. But if he's just like, hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? <laughs> yes, you know, you Not probably, making the efforts. Okay, yes, so I love these. So let's go one at a time and dive into that so women can really understand what we're saying. So the first thing you mentioned was being consistent. Yes. Now, so what do you mean by that? Because I'm seeing different experiences women are having where, okay, he's really good for a week or two and then he falls off. They don't really hear from him that much. And then he keeps like that in and out type of thing. Or sometimes, yeah, he'll be calling sometimes and sometimes not so much. So are you saying like he's consistent with his calling patterns, yes. him seeing you, yep. the way he is with you? Yep. He doesn't just fall off from time to time. Yeah, yeah. Even, <laughs> even, if, even if you guys don't get to hang out and show that often, if he's being consistent in his texting or his, you know, calling, you guys speaking and everything like that, if he's consistent in that way, then that's great. That in and out stuff like you know you'll talk to him on Monday then you won't hear from him again until like Thursday and then you know text you back like Sunday night or something that's that kind of in and out you know I'm not uh, 
Come give her one hundred percent, but I'm gonna give her just enough to kind of keep her attention. Exactly. To let her know that I'm still here. Um, I See? man, I feel like I'm giving away some tips. I'm sorry, fellas. Um, yeah, you need to because we need to hear it. <laughs> so, it's, um, so do you think that a man is going to at least daily try to get that time in every day? He should. He absolutely should. Right. If he's serious. Yes. Um. A man should absolutely be trying to, you know, speak with you every day or, you know, it's when he gets a little bit of free time. I hate to hear those stories where, um, I don't know, I have female friends and they say, like, a guy that they're talking to was like, oh, I've been, like, at work all day. I've been in a meeting all day, you know. So I couldn't text back. So you, this meeting started at like six in the morning, and you know, lasted all the way to like twelve midnight. That's when you finally decide to say hi or hello back or something like that. That's just that's no good. Exactly. Good. So because I think sometimes we women we're trying to be not be unreasonable because we hear guys saying, "Oh, women are naggy or too clingy." So it's like we're trying not to, but. You know, a guy who really does want to talk to you is going to try to get that time in every day. Like you said, even if it's a little break that he gets here and there, he's going to try to make sure he stays connected. Definitely, definitely. He's going to put forth a genuine effort. Okay, cool. So the next thing that you talk about him, oh, initiating like time, spending time with you. Yes. So that was another one you said, which is a good point because I noticed that sometimes, especially on the whole dating apps and all that, you feel like people aren't really, you know, trying to make this thing move, right? Right, absolutely. <laughs> Go ahead. And I, I, I feel like dating apps are so hard. It's easier in a sense. You don't have to deal with rejection face to face. But, you know, it's so hard because you're on this app. You're trying to gauge what somebody's saying. You're trying to gauge this person's feeling, um, feelings. And it could just be, you know, full of crap. Um, so I, I feel like as a man, you should definitely be trying to put forth that effort to get to, you know, know and see this lady that you're interested in as much as you can. So if he's not initiating dates, if you're always the one who has to ask him or if it's every couple weeks he's trying to hang out, he's going to try to at least hang out weekly, right? You I think? Yeah, I, yeah, definitely weekly. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So what are some other tips can we say for her to determine if he's... Because, you know, sometimes in these whole situationships, the guys, and they're acting like... They're actually together. They're spending time weekly. You know, they are, you know, engaging in other activities and all that. Um, how can she know that, hey, this is just temporary for him. Like, he's not really feeling me all the way if he is showing all these other signs. You know what I mean? Um, you know what I always found weird? Tell me. Like, listening to women talk. And after, like, four or five days of talking to a guy... She's already like the love of his life. <laughs> like, oh, I can't live without you. And you're this and you're that. And that's way too fast. I personally don't believe in that love and first sight stuff or all that stuff. That's crazy to me. Um, I don't buy it. So I think dudes that do that kind of stuff like right off the bat. I feel like they, they, they're playing hard. Like they're playing like really hard to get you like interested Mm. really fast Ooh. so you gotta be careful with that just it should be natural I feel like when you're talking to someone if you're genuinely interested it's gonna be natural it's gonna be a natural flow of conversation even if it starts off kinda shaky and as you guys start to talk and get to know one another it you know kinda increases um, that's that's normal you know that's regular let it flow like let it be natural like you know, ain't no need to rush or mm -hmm. hurry and get into this, you know. Ain't nobody to love your life like three days after you meet <laughs> her. That's crazy. Um, fella, stop doing this. Ladies, don't let these dudes get y'all caught up like that. Oof! Um, you know, you just made me think of another tip, I think, for women is... Um, what was I going to say? Going with your intuition. Because I think oftentimes when we really like someone... It can cloud our better judgment. We'll see all these red flags. We'll see that this thing is probably not going to work. <laughs> but we'll still keep chugging along anyway. So I think to me, what do you think about women going with their intuition? If something really seems off, like 
really looking into it, if you really see some major red flags, don't overlook it. Like you were saying how oftentimes early on, I don't know, in our mind, we just get this perception of what we think about this guy early on. But what do you think about women going with their intuition? If it feels off? Um, I think red flags are red flags. Mm -hmm. Um, if I start talking about how I feel about women's intuition, I know some of y'all probably gonna come at me. <laughs> um, don't get me started on what I think about women's what? intuition. Oh, Lord. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, definitely like peep those red flags. They're there. You know, um, don't get so caught up in someone to, to the point where you ignore the red flags. Um, you know, and you you know the red flags are. You know what what's right, what's wrong, and like you know what sounds crazy, you know what looks crazy. You know, um, can I share something? Like, go go tell me. All right, so had a friend. Mm -hmm. She was dealing with a guy. Mm -hmm. Um, so they were talking. My friend was talking to the guy, mm -hmm. and the guy was living with his baby mom at the time. Okay? Yeah. The baby mom was like six months pregnant. <laughs> and she knew it? She knew. But she was really like into this guy. She was really digging this guy. And he's like, yeah, she was my baby mama. We used to be together. And yeah, she's pregnant right now. But I'm not the father. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how many dudes is gonna have his ex baby mama living in his place pregnant with another dude's kid that that's that's unheard of so but she was just like gung-ho about this guy and I'm just like I didn't really know what else to say you know just you know couldn't really tell her nothing I feel like that is one thing about us. We do fall really quickly and it seems like you guys more take your time. Like we have to show you who we are and prove, kind of prove ourselves to you before you're willing to, to really invest emotionally with us. I absolutely agree. Yeah. So I think women really have to um, learn how to, to deal with that. And again, a lot of it, I think, comes from what we perceive the person to be like before we even really get to know him. Just looking at him and maybe having a few conversations for like, okay, in my mind, I think he's this. And it's it's so dangerous. So I think really taking your time, engaging and guarding kind of your heart a bit before opening up. Yeah. Okay. Um, that story is so crazy. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of mercy. That's a dang red flag right there. Living with a baby mama. Real, real. Or living with an ex period. Like, I think that's really questionable. Yep. Okay, so what else? What other tips can we give to women to really see if the guy is is interested man, man what about us just listening to him because it seems like these days these guys are straight out telling these women i don't want something serious and women are still head first into this mess <sighs> yes i cannot stress enough listen to what these men are saying if you meet a guy and he says hey I'm just cooling it right now. I'm not looking for anything serious. You know, we can be friends. You know, whoop, whoop, all that stuff. Listen to what he's saying. I feel like if that's not what you want, you know, then leave him alone. If you catch yourself, you know, maybe starting off with, as, a, as a, you know, as a friend and then later on you start to catch feelings. I know it's hard. It sucks. But you got to let it go. Like, don't say, oh, but we've been chilling every day and talking every day. And, you know, why don't you, why don't you love me like I love you? Yeah, we can have something great. <laughs> it's like, my dog just said <laughs> that he don't want none of that, you know, but. You chose to continue to... And that's the thing is, I think we play with fire. Like, I think, women, you need to run away, okay? Don't cut communication with these guys. Because we're thinking, oh, maybe we could just be friends. Maybe we could hang out. If you have a strong attracting attraction to someone, it's just going to grow the more you spend time with them, the more you talk with them. And you're going to end up in this cycle of 
continually being with men who really don't want to be with you. So I say just guard yourself and walk away early on. And don't try to change him either. Like, don't think you're going to love this guy so much, you know, and do so much for him that you're going to change him. Men know fairly quickly. Like, once we start feeling somebody, we put so in a category. So, you know, men put women in, a, in, in categories. So, you know, we know at, at a certain point to what team you on, you know. Yeah. And there's really only two teams. You know, there's the wife and everybody else. <laughs> so, it's, um... <laughs> Unfortunately, that's how it is. Yes. So listen to these men when they say that. And again, just just walk away. Just walk away. Save yourself the heartache. Absolutely. Absolutely. And it's like you said, trying to change him and, you know, all the sad stories like, oh, you know, he's been hurt before and, you know, you're going to be something different to him. Oh, God, just please just. I feel like until women really learn the lesson, they're going to keep going in the same loop. And I think the thing that's keeping us single is we keep going after the same guy or keep doing the same thing. Like, we got to switch something up. So I totally agree. Um, what else? What other tips can we give to women? Here we go. Uh, Ladies. Mm. Sex talk. Mm. If this dude is telling you what he's trying to blow out a week after y'all start talking, that's... Oh, you know, that's that's not no good. Like that's that's not. Um, try to stay away from that as well. Mm. Like you know, cause you know, three days in, you're the love of his life. You know, five six days in, now he want to do this and tie you up. And, <laughs> you know, put your leg here. And, you know, so it- lick this off you <laughs> just. Yes. So you don't think if a guy is serious about a woman, he's not going to want to have those convos early on? Why not? Why wouldn't he want to if he's into her? I've heard too many nightmare stories about, you know, dudes just, it seems like that's all dudes want. Yeah. And you still hear that mm-hmm. from, you know, women often today. Like all he wanted was sex or that's all he was trying to do. So I've always felt that if someone brings that up, too quickly mm-hmm. then it's kind of a red flag like even me like as a man like i've talked to several women and like a couple of days after talking to them they start talking about that and i kind of feel uncomfortable like i right, like she got like mtv out there they're trying to park me or something like she trying to give some up a little bit too fast that's just that's that's a, a red flag to me so i'd say avoid that as well if this guy It's truly like digging you like that. He's trying to get to know you. You know your ins and outs. He he wants to explore. He wants to explore your mind. Like he wants to, you know, see like what what your soul is made out of. Trying to see what makes you tick. Mm. That's a good one. Is he genuinely curious about you? Yes. Oh, that's a good one. Mm -hmm. And that goes back to that do it that don't got nothing to say but. What you doing today? How you doing today? Like, if that's all he can say when he messages you first, mm. he's not trying to get to know you, mm. you know, then that's probably, you know, that that's a, a red flag as well, I feel. Ooh, that's such a good one. I mean, unless he's just not like a talker like that, but, you know, then again, like, if you're not a talker like that, why are you even, I don't know. No, I don't know. But he's going to be curious about the way you think about things and, Absolutely. So and trying to understand he you. He should be trying to talk to you. Even if he's someone right? who's not, he can't really start the conversation off and is not really a conversationalist. But when things do come up and you do express yourself, he's going to like, listen, he's not going to, it's not going to seem like he's wandering off or just, you know, not interested. Absolutely. Okay. And lastly, what I wanted to ask was, is he going to try to sleep with you? If he really does want something serious with you, will all guys try? Because I feel like many guys do try. Um, do you think if he's really serious about you, he might try to, you know, sleep with you early on? Early on, he may. Um, I feel like it should, you know, be based off the vibe. Mm-hmm. Like, 
if you guys are hanging out, you know, at, you know, his place or, like, your place or whatever. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it kind of just flows into it and it happens. It's great. But if you just, like, constantly, like, banging that door down and get in there, like, you <laughs> just... I've never seen like at the end of the Flintstones where Fred get locked outside. Yeah, well, <laughs> on the door, like he doing that to like get something. Like, man, I don't feel like he should be doing that. I feel like it should be like a natural thing, even if it does happen early. Yeah, on. it doesn't feel like he's pressuring it should, you. Right, it should it. be the vibe. Yeah, yeah. okay, mm -hmm. it love be, it. It should be mutual. Okay, so thank you, Charlie, so much for giving us some tips. And so women out there, you know, listen up. And guys, leave us some more tips. Let us know. Um, what women should look out for to see if a guy's really serious and it's true again i was there myself mm -hmm. thinking okay i can get these you know kinds of guys because they're just out there but how many of them are actually really serious about you so look at these signs and see maybe what you need to change and look out for for when you're dealing with guys in the future any final comments real quick um yeah um everything she said ladies um <laughs> just make sure when you're dealing with these gentlemen make sure that these men are legit interested and they're vetting you to actually be their wives mm. you know they want to make you a wife um that's what that's that's what men want i know a lot of women feel like that's not what men want but the majority of them but the majority of men we're just looking for a partner. We're just looking for a wife. Yeah. So pay attention to the signs. Um, you know, check them red flags. You know, if it uh, you know, swim like a fish and smell like <laughs> a fish, it's probably a fish. It's, you know, y'all yeah. know what's up. 